everyone. I'm Jen from the Ontario Science Centre and I'm here today with my son Wesley Hi. And today we're going to show you something really cool that you can all do at home. Do you want to tell everyone what we're going to do? Science experiment. Yeah, we're going to do a science experiment. We're going to show you how to make colorful explosions in milk. So if you want to try this at home, here's what you're going to need. We're going to be using a pie dish today, but any kind of shallow plate that you have will work. We have some cotton swabs, a little bit of dish soap, some food coloring, and some milk. We're using homogenized milk today, but you can use whatever you have at home. Milk with a higher fat content will work a little bit better. All right, Wesley, you ready? Okay, so let's carefully pour the milk into the pan. That's it, nice and slow. Perfect. Okay, so next I'm going to be putting some drops of food coloring right in the middle of the milk. Which color are we doing first? Green. Green. Because you got the right one. And then, and then red touching the side. Right beside, okay. And then? Blue touching. Right here? Yeah. Okay. And then I want yellow touching right there. Right there, okay. So now what I want you to do is to take a cotton swab and you're going to stick it right in the middle. But first, can you make a prediction what will happen? It will become a big circle. It will become a big circle. Okay, so let's try it without soap first and see what happens. Hmm, not very much. It just soaked it up. It soaked it up. Let's flip it over and dip the other end into the dish soap. Great, okay, so now I want you to take that and stick it right in the middle there and hold it still. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. I'm right. Okay, let's lift it out for a minute and see what's happening in there. <gasps> look how the colors are moving around. Let's get a new swab um, and try again. Lots of life maybe here. Okay, so put it in there and hold it still for a minute. Okay, and then you can lift it up and we'll see what happens. What's happening over there? Yeah, all the colors are mixing up. The colors are all mixing up and moving around. Look how they're racing all around in the milk. Do you see how far they're spreading out? Yeah. yeah, it looks pretty cool. So what's happening here? This is an example of chemistry in action. Everything around us is made up of really tiny particles called molecules. Now soap molecules are really interesting. They have two parts to them. One part is hydrophilic. So hydro means water and philic means love. So things that are hydrophilic love water and they want to bond or partner with water molecules. The other part of the soap molecule is hydrophobic. Phobic means to have a fear of something. So the hydrophobic end hates water, but it loves fat and it wants to bond or partner up with fat molecules. Now milk is made up mostly of water, but there's a lot of fat molecules in there as well. Okay, so what happens when we put the soap into the milk is that the hydrophilic end of the soap molecule tries to find all of the fat molecules in the milk and they start racing around in the milk, moving around really quickly. And while they're doing this, they're bumping into the color molecules uh, from the food coloring. And that's why we see the colors moving all through the milk really quickly and it looks so beautiful. So this is something we encourage everybody to go and try at home. If you want to take the investigation even farther, you can try using different types of milk. So whatever you have at home, um, also some non-dairy milks. You could try even other liquids and see what happens. You could also try using different types of soap. So perhaps laundry detergent or hand soap, or even just stick a bar of soap in there and see what happens. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.